After redshirting last season, the physical presence of God's gift Achua has returned to the St. John's lineup, providing a dose of edge and toughness for the Red Storm. His steady demeanor and willing attitude makes God's gift the type of blue-collar player that both the coaching staff and New Yorkers embrace. Whether it's a near double-double against Providence, four swats against DePaul, or a quick energy boost off the bench, Achua does whatever is necessary to put the Johnnies in the right spot. Coach wants me to run, as in, because that's something I do very good, you know. You know, so he wants me to run the floor, wants me to get rebounds, block shots, and just be an aggressive player all around. Physical being, he's a great shot blocker too, rather people know than I. If, if he, I think if he played more, he'd get a lot more shot blocks. His timing, him and Chris' timing is unbelievable. But he's strong, like, he helped me a lot from last season, because I gained like weight. He gave me like real competition, like same thing as game situations. Going against him every day at practice, it's been great for me. His best attributes has hurt him as far as playing time, because he's so physical and he's so opposing in practice that he's getting these guys better. So he does what he does, and in turn, it ends up probably costing him a few minutes here and there. But if we put him in the game, we know that he's going to do everything that he can do within his power. He's going to be physical. He's going to push guys around. He's going to rebound. He's going to be mature. I respect that a great deal about it. He sacrificed a lot of his minutes that he got a couple years back just so he could be the captain, be the leader of our team to help out our younger guys, Chris Obekba. You know, they're from the same country. They're both from Nigeria. He's helped Chris tremendously. And he also helps out CJ, Christian Jones, and Orlando Sanchez. So he, he's a little older than everybody else, so he helps out like another coach on the bench or on the floor. Redshirting him last year, certainly as you can see, sometimes guys can use that red shirt in terms of physically getting better. I think for Giff and what I've heard from Coach Lavin talk about maturity-wise, he's always been a mature guy, but also about part of helping that maturity help our group. And it's not being more mature. Your maturity and spreading that knowledge to other kids is what it's about. He's a grandpa of the crew, you know. <laughs> he he, he holds everything together. He just, he's so wise, and you can learn so much from Giff, you know, not even on, on the court, but, um, you know, off the court also. You know, I love Giff so much. You know, he he's really, you gotta really know him to like know what he's about. And you know, he's all about winning, whether he plays or he doesn't play. Or he plays two minutes, plays 20 minutes. The way he practices, the way he works out, the way he carries himself around campus, the way he does his own church, the way he does everything. Like he, he's just a, he's a mature guy. An imposing figure on the floor, a chew is a gentle giant off the hardwood as his actions and commitment to community service serve as an embodiment of St. John's Vincentian mission. St. John's is not just about basketball or about people coming to school and just learning and going. It's also about, that there are things that are beyond that, you know, which is um, actually helping the community. And it shows that the mission statement and, um, and the vision of this school is actually real. To be recognized, it's not just, um, I don't just look at it as a personal accomplishment. I look at it as, a, as, as, a, as something that the school has accomplished by helping people and um, telling people that St. John's is not just a place where you come and study and go. It's also a place where you where you actually live your life and where you actually uh, experience the reality of life, you know, and help people out. We didn't come here just for basketball. We came here to actually uh, accomplish something that some other person started, which is St. Vincent de Paul. So it's very good to be a part of that vision.